loves, today we are talking about how you can easily organize and keep your sanity by organizing your entire life with just one app. And I'm talking about the Notion app, the number one productivity app that can change your life. So if you want to see it, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I struggle a lot with organizing my life and the things I need to do. I used to plan on paper, but now that I have a family and a YouTube and also a job that I just started last month and it's an eight hour job that I do um, and it's a work from home. So everything put that if you put all of those things together it makes it so hard for me to organize and plan on paper because when i plan on paper i usually love to make it look pretty or designing it putting stickers and stuff like that before i can actually plan on it and just putting up like stickers and stuff like that on my planner that takes couple of minutes to an hour already before I can even write down the things I have to do and keep track of so to make the long story short I wasn't able to organize my life and do the things I love to do or want to do because I don't have that routine and I don't have the structure and I don't have I don't have an organization in my life until I found notion app so notion app is the number one productivity app that I love and and the only thing that I use to organize my life literally you can organize anything in this app from your family work your side hustle your business meal planning recipes and stuff like that and you can even track your workout your health with this app so that's why I love this app so much so for me I use notion app to organize my family my YouTube my eight-hour work from home job and also my bills my meal planning and uh, tracking my habits and also I use it to journal and plan everything in our lives so yeah that's what I use uh, this notion app for and I will show you guys I will give you guys a little tour of how I pretty much organize and set up my notion app for my productivity in life and so I can have a routine and a structure in life to organize pretty much everything so let's go jump right in okay guys so now that we are on my home page of my notion app um, before I continue on giving you guys a little tour of my notion app I want to say that I will be sharing with you guys or I will try to add the link of the templates that I duplicated for my own so you guys can also duplicate it and you can use it as well for your notion app okay so here you are seeing my home page so for my home page I want it to be be minimalistic also aesthetically pleasing looking and also functional that's what I'm aiming for for my home page so here you can easily change your change your cover um, picture to anything or whatever you like you can either go to unsplash as well and search whatever you are looking for and then just um, just save it and then I'll change the whole cover for you and for my picture right here I'm planning on switching that I just put that just because but I'm planning on just switching it to something simple it doesn't have to be your picture or you know or whatnot <laughs> and I named this as my home because this is where I usually go on um, first to um, track everything that I do and in here on uh, this first area right here that you guys are seeing I have the weekly to-do list life dashboard habits and bills so this one that says new life dash that is um, my life dashboard so once i'm done for this week i just drag this to my life dashboard archive i just drag it in there and then i click this and it will create a new life dashboard and i will just put the um, the week that I'm working on same thing with my weekly to-do list. Uh, this is the new weekly to-do list I just drag this on this archive the weekly to-do list and then I'll make my 
another one for that week so for my weekly to-do list I just like to have um, to have this view it's easy for me to um, look at it and check it off once I'm done for that week and then for another week it will copy again the same thing and then I can just check it off again so next the after the weekly to-do list I have the life dashboard so this life dashboard i duplicated this as well from another channel so for here i have my goals my quick reference that i do and also um the things that i do to achieve my goals i pretty much put it on this area i also have a daily tracker like my routine and i just check it off if i finish it it's just easier for me at least i know that i'm actually doing my routine every day and also after that i have here my weekly so for my weekly it's the same thing that i just showed you guys earlier which is my weekly to-do list um but also i have that on my life dashboard so i have just copied everything that i have from my other page the weekly to-do list to here and then i just pretty much check it off once i'm done and this is how i pretty much organize and time everything that i have to do like for example my editing i, I limit myself to three days monday through wednesday and that's about it that's my editing and on thursday and up to saturday that's when i do my workout when i can and then i just check it off if i do work out and then after that i do cleaning on thursdays because i don't really have that much things to do and i don't have to edit videos and then i do my planning my post of my new video when i post new videos it's gonna be on fridays as well and that's when i do my bills and stuff like that saturday i have more time because of my husband he's here to help me out with the kids so we do the groceries the workout this is a time where i promote my videos and stuff like that or po um, posting on instagram filming as well because like i said my husband helps me out so i have time to film and only that only saturday is a day that i can film and then on sunday i do the meal prepping but i'm switching the meal prep on a saturday because it's a lot easier um and then that's when i promote all of my posts my videos and stuff like that on a sunday as well so every week i I would try to um, see if this routine this structure that I have works for me and if it doesn't then I'll switch it up like for example like I said the meal prepping Sunday doesn't work for me so I will be switching the meal prep on a Saturday instead and after my weekly I have the monthly quarterly every six months and yearly so this is where I put all of the things that I need to do just to keep track of them and so I don't miss anything at all and then I also love this template because it has the projects that I need that you can also track like for example like all of these things that I have on this task I can just check it off if it's done or I can either tag it if it's waiting for to buy um, errands and stuff like that to call then I can put a tag on them and then I can put a note if it's done or not and so for the projects these are the ones that we have to do at home that we haven't done yet or the things that we have to talk about first and um, decide if we're gonna fix it or not and so yeah that's what i do this is my life dashboard and this is how i organize my life in just one app and like i said um this notion app really helps me a lot to organize and do all the things i need um to do within the whole week and i can manage that by tracking it and by organizing my to do's in here okay guys so after my life dashboard i have here my habit tracker so this is kind of like a daily tracker but this is more focused on the habits that you want to do or achieve and stuff like that so i still do my routine i put my routine in here because i still need to create a habit of my routine so i like to track them and it's by month as well from the first to the 30th and you can also archive this by dragging the month to the archive right here 
and then you can also add a new one every month by just clicking on start a new month i will try to link this um, template for you guys so you guys can also use it and make it your own okay guys so next after the habit tracker we have the bills so for the bills i don't really put all the information of our bills in here like our income our bank information and stuff like that i don't do that for here i only keep track of my bills like the checklist so if i um, paid it off for that month like for example the may i already paid this i just haven't checked it off yet and the sun run so once um everything like you know for that month i just check it off so i know that it's been paid off and taken care of because adulting is you know adulting <laughs> and you see in here we have so much bills i don't think um this is all of it either i think i'm still missing some um but yeah that's how i'm tracking my bills and down here i copy the link for my google docs for my um budget so when you click this link it'll go straight to your google docs or google sheets and then that's how i track my bills so it does doesn't go in notion app it just direct me to my google um, documents okay so after my bills on my home page i also like to add the to do's because on my phone or my ipad when i click on my home i can easily add the things um, that i need to um, add and then just check it off once it's done already and the picture right here I just like to add this just to make it look nice and you know aesthetically pleasing so you can either add pictures music and stuff like that you can do that as well and in here this is my daily planner so I have a calendar view or a timeline view but I prefer the calendar view because I can easily add stuff to it and it's just easy for me to, to look at things. Like for example, like my work is from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So I just pretty much add it on here so I know that I did go to work <laughs> even though it's just home. But um, you can easily add things to it by clicking to add an item. Like for example, my church day, I click attended and then who spoke that day is pastor brian and then i add like the bible verses today's message um my notes and stuff like that you can easily um use your ipad or your phone and just type everything on here that's why i love the notion app because you can use your phone or your tablet and bring it anywhere everywhere you know and then like for example like um post new video or Nespresso. This is when I called um, the Nespresso and they replaced my other one because it was broken. And you can easily add things in here that you are doing that day or that whole week or whatnot. You know, you can put a lot of things like here. You see how I have so many, so many things that I did on this side and you can also journal using this calendar so that's why i love this notion app because i can have the daily planner and everything else in here okay so next um after my home page i have the content calendar if you are a youtuber or a content creator if that's what you do i will link the template that i'm using so this is where i keep track of my stuff like um when i post them and stuff like that but for my content calendar i recently just used this so there's not much right now so here for my schedule this is how i schedule my content and the task i do for my youtube for example like uh, monday through wednesday Days when I edit and then Friday is when I post videos and stuff like that and then Saturday Sunday is when I promote my videos and on here I also have my task which is the content idea finalized title my scripts and then also my ready to film if it's um, editing scheduled already or released that's where I just drag this and then I will just put it on there. And also, for example, if you are creating a new um, video, you can just click add. And then I added this new video template. 
so this video template is so good i recently just used this and i will link it for you guys so you guys can also use it this is so good like it tells you what to do like for example it gives you guidance on your video like you have to make a list of your titles and stuff like that the thumbnails and then there's a checklist as well that you can do publishing checklist promotion checklist um stuff like that you know and then how to tell a story and stuff like that so if you're a content creator or youtuber i will link this for you guys down below if you want to also use that but so far um it's doing me great i love it and next after my content um calendar i also have a health tracker so this is where i track all my food intake my workout and stuff like that and like i said you can track anything in this notion app so that's why it's so good and also we have the recipes in here so this one i also duplicated this because i love um the food that they have in here like the recipes and stuff so I duplicated it and then you can add recipes on here as well and then also I have my brain dump so this is where I just easily write down things that I need to do for my journal I also journal on my notion app you can add anything in here like for example if you create a new one and you can just put the title whatever you're feeling that day and stuff like that and also i have this one is a new one i just created this uh, myself which is my meal prepping and for here on top i have the list of ideas um, that i want my kids and us to have for that whole week and then i have breakfast lunch dinner snacks and stuff like that and then I also have down below the weekly meal prep. So on Monday is um, where I put like what food we're um, having that day. And on top of the weekly meal prep, which is the list of idea, that's where I put all of the ingredients and instructions of how to make them. And also I have the grocery list. So the grocery list, I put it under my meal prep, my weekly meal prep. Um, I can easily bring this to the grocery store, open my meal prep, and just check off the things that I need to buy so this that's why i like to add the grocery list down below so it's just so easy you can add um your list and you can just check it off easily so there you have it guys that's how i organize my life in just one app and i love this notion app you guys should try it too especially if you guys are struggling with uh, just having a structure a routine and organization in life you guys this app this notion app is for you you should try it and let me know how it works for you and yeah this will really help with your productivity and sanity if you guys like this type of video please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and also hit the bell notification i appreciate it if you guys do subscribe to my channel it helps the channel a lot and i pretty much do a mom lifestyle videos videos about tackling everything in life as a mom from family from work my youtube and everything else in life um pretty much as a mom and if you guys like that type of video please make sure to subscribe and join the family and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye